So let's get started on study number one, and I've chosen beech leaves for this. And I'm using the underside of the leaf as the veining is stronger there. So we're using three colours there, Hansi Yellow, Luna Black, which is top left in my palette, and Neutral Tint. But you don't have to have exactly the same paints as me, so feel free to use what you already have. Very beautiful. And the thing about nature is, it's, this is so stunning that um, you need to stay sometimes with the simplicity of it. I know sometimes I, I feel I go in and do too much. But this speaks for itself, doesn't it? So, so beautiful, so much texture. these so pretty I mean you could just make a few cards out of this once you're set up you could keep going and make uh, a lot of cards just in one setting one sitting rather and stick that to either a blank card or just a piece of card that you've cut yourself I'm going to try this smaller one now, just to vary the size. And I'm going to try using a more pigmented and brighter colour, just to see how that contrasts. I might just stick with, uh, with beech leaves for this one. It's a slightly different shaped one. Let's mix some of that lunar black with, the, uh, with our green mixture here. It's almost a very warm looks on the palette very warm grey. It's it is odd what you get sometimes because this is a cool yellow but it's coming out warm once it's mixed with the lunar black. Gorgeous love that and I'm going to keep this simple but I want a harmony between these leaves, so I want an echo of the one we've just done. And isn't it amazing, by the way, how many gradients of colour you can get from just yellow and black. So I think I'll put this one here, going over the ones underneath. something a little brighter here. I think I need to add a little bit more 
I'm thinking of these colors here that I quite liked. Yeah, that's nice. Now, when I'm thinking about composition, I want to... Do I want to? No. <laughs> I'm thinking, do I want to put something here, but I'm not sure what. But, do you know, if you actually cut up a larger design, you get really unexpected composition. And I quite like that, you know, there's not much thinking in it. It just happens because of the way that you cut them. So I'm just pausing here to think what I can do, because I don't want to put a big leaf over here that obscures these ones underneath. But I also don't want to introduce a new leaf. Hmm, what to do? And when I'm not sure, I'll just place a leaf down. I think maybe a nice brighter one here might do the trick. Cool. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's a relief. <laughs> and now I'm going to just marry this up a little bit. So I want to keep with this nice light yellow. That's almost neat, hands yellow, but um, with a tiny bit of the two darker colours together neutral tint and lunar black. Yeah, that's really sweet. And then I feel the only thing I need to do now is just a little hint of a leaf here. Now I've got two leaves going this way. So it might be nice just to do one like that. Yep, yeah, I like that. Just want it coming in to the page a little bit, maybe just touching that with the leaf. Okay, well that's number one. And I'm really happy with that, it's very simple and the leaf does all the work for you really. So let's move on to a, another little one. 